iconic buildings from around the globe. Hey everyone, it's Alexa again and welcome back to another video. People travel all over the world to take photographs of themselves standing in front of iconic buildings. They pretend to be holding up the Leaning Tower of Pisa, or pinching the Eiffel Tower between their thumb and forefingers, or placing their hands on top of the pyramids. Whichever way you like to take your gimmicky photo, here are some more iconic buildings that you should consider going to visit. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to give a shout out to Simon Eden. Thank you to everyone for watching. I love hearing from you in the comments. If you're not already, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you never miss an upload. Petronas Towers, Kuala Lumpur Shopping is one of the main draw cards to this Malaysian capital, but if you've had enough of emptying your wallet, take a drive to the Petronas Towers. These twin skyscrapers held the title of tallest in the world from 1998 to 2004. There's a double-decker sky bridge connecting the towers, offering the most surreal views of the city. The letter M is depicted through its outline for Malaysia. Potala Palace, China This impressive structure is located in Lhasa, Tibet, and used to be the Winter Palace of the Dalai Lamas from 1649 to 1959. Built on Red Mountain, the palace is a World Heritage Site and only allows 2,300 visitors each day. To maintain the palace has been a costly exercise, with millions being invested each year for its upkeep. Harpa Concert Hall, Reykjavik from the old to the new, Harpa Concert Hall was opened in 2011 and designed by Danish Icelandic artist Olafur Eliasson and Henning Larsen Architects. The hall went up during a very bad financial time for Iceland and 164 million euro was pumped into it. There was a lot of controversy surrounding this building and the government had to fund the finishing off of this iconic structure. The acoustics are said to be phenomenal and it's one of those rare cases where the finished building looks better in reality than on paper. Casa Mila, Spain it took six years to build this intriguing structure in Barcelona, Spain. It's a definite must-see if you're heading that way. It was designed by architect Antoni Gaudi for a wealthy couple. It was built between 1906 and 1912 and boasts self-supporting stone front and columns, an underground garage, and floors that don't have load-bearing walls. The building is made entirely of natural stones and there are no straight lines. You can remove any wall and the structure would remain stable. It was named a World Heritage Site in 1984. Lloyd's Building, London It looks a little out of place on Lime Street, but that's also part of the appeal of the Lloyd's Building. It's also called the Inside Out Building, and Richard Rogers can be credited for the space-age design which sees the plumbing, heating, and lifts all outside the building to make the maximum use of floor space. It took eight years to build and was also the first of its kind to feature 12 outside lifts in the UK. The Chateau de Chenonceau, France Sprawled across beautiful lawns near the River Cher is the Chateau de Chenonceau, which is one of the most well-known chateaux of the Loire Valley. It's often called the Ladies' Chateau, and it's the ladies who have heavily influenced its design. It was Thomas Boyer's wife who completed the building, which commenced in 1515. Henry II then gave it to his mistress, who added the bridge when he died. His wife, Catherine de' Medici, forced the mistress out and added several new wings to it. It's now the most visited chateau in France. Guggenheim Museum, Bilbao, Spain Spain is brimming with iconic buildings, and the Guggenheim Museum Bilbao is another one not to be missed. The Contemporary Art Museum was designed by Frank Gehry, a Canadian-American architect, and King Charles I inaugurated it in 1997. The World Architecture Survey named it one of the most important completed works in 1980, and it cost $100 million to construct. Milwaukee Art Museum, Wisconsin There are three buildings that make up the Milwaukee Art Museum. They are the War Memorial Center, built in 1957, the Collar Building, built in 1975, and the Quadrachi Pavilion, erected in 2001. The building itself is a piece of art, and the MAM is home to 25,000 pieces of art from all over the world. The Kaaba, Saudi Arabia This brick cuboid structure is a sacred spot where it's said that every Muslim will visit at least once in their lifetime. It's located in the center of the Great Mosque of Mecca, and while performing their prayers, every Muslim will face in the direction of the Kaaba. That's roughly one billion people every day. Made of granite, the Kaaba used to have two doors and a window, but now it only has one door and no window. It wasn't meant to be cube-shaped, and its initial design was rectangular, but that is an entirely different story for an entirely different day. Casa Balló, Barcelona 
It's back to Spain and in the region of Catalonia, you'll come across several intriguing buildings that were designed and built by Antony Gaudi. We mentioned him earlier with Casa Mila, and he was a famous architect who had a unique and fun approach to his designs. Melio House was awarded as one of the best buildings of the year in 1906 by the city. It is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Centre Pompidou, France. This modern, industrial-looking building is in the Beaubourg area of the 4th arrondissement of Paris and was designed by the architectural team of Richard Rogers and Renzo Piano, along with Gianfranco Francini. Inside is a massive public library, a museum of modern art, a center for music and acoustic research, bookshop, and a restaurant. It opened in 1977 and houses more than 50,000 pieces of art from 42,000 artists. The Gateway Arch, Missouri. It's been an iconic monument since 1963 and attracts 4 million visitors yearly. The Gateway Arch is the world's tallest arch and takes the title as the tallest man-made monument in the Western Hemisphere. It was designed by Eero Saarinen and cost $13 million to build. It's a bit of an optical illusion, but the monument is as wide as it is tall, and it weighs a whopping 38,000. 1,898 tons. Himeji Castle, Japan. This is an exquisite example of 17th century architecture that comprises 83 buildings with advanced systems of defense in place. It's remarkable that it survived the war and natural disasters, including an earthquake. It's also known as White Egret or White Huron because the building looks like it's a bird about to take flight. Space Needle, Seattle. This space-age-looking building is hard to miss if you're in Seattle. Built in 1962, it was unveiled at the Century 21 Exposition, a space-age-themed world fair. The original design was doodled on a napkin by Edward E. Carlson, the organizer of the fair. The tower went up in 400 days and can withstand wind speeds of up to 200 miles an hour. It can also survive structural damage from earthquakes reaching magnitudes of 9.1. It cost $4 million to build and receives 1.3 million visitors every year. La Sagrada Familia, Barcelona. This breathtaking church can once again be credited to Gaudi. Although it wasn't him that laid the initial foundation, he got involved a year later. He worked on this project until his death in 1926. When he died, only a quarter of the church was completed, and it's still not finished. It's hopefully going to be finished in 2026, but some people speculate it'll be nearer to the 2040s. A tomb of Gaudi is located in the underground level of the building. It's visited by roughly 3 million people every year, despite the fact that it is not even complete. Las Lajas Sanctuary, Nariño. Colombia is home to one of the most intriguing religious structures you'll come across. A well-told tale tells the story of a mother and daughter caught in a terrible storm in the gorge. They looked up and witnessed the Virgin Mary. This was 1754, and the woman claims that the apparition cured her blind and mute daughter. The Telegraph newspaper named this the most beautiful church in the world. Hagia Sophia, Istanbul. From one religious temple to another, Hagia Sophia was once a church, then a mosque, and is now a museum. The first lot of buildings went up between 306 and 337 and were built by Emperor Constantine the Great. The ancient cathedral has been rebuilt several times due to different reasons, including riots and earthquakes. You might recognize it from the Bond film Skyfall. The Flatiron Building, New York City. This triangular 22-story building was originally the Fuller Building. It was completed in 1902 and at that stage was one of the tallest buildings in the city. It was designed by architect Daniel Burnham and when it went up, residents were really concerned that the unusual shape would not hold and the building would collapse in on itself. The narrowest part of the building is six and a half feet across and today the value of the building is $190 million. The Dancing House, Prague. It is by far one of the most interesting pieces of architecture in Prague, Czech Republic, and it's also known as Fred and Ginger. This non-traditional building wasn't always loved by residents, as it really did stick out like a sore thumb from the traditional Baroque, Gothic, and Art Nouveau buildings of Prague. Fortunately, the project did have the support of the former Czech president. It was designed by a Croatian Czech architect and took four years to build. The style of the building is called deconstructivist, and the large twisted bits of metal at the top of the building is called Mary. Falling Water, Pennsylvania. This private residence used to belong to the Edgar J. Kaufman family of Pittsburgh, owners of Kaufman's department store. It was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright in 1934 and built between 1936 and 1939. The house is mostly made of stone and sits quite low in the valley. The architect wanted the home to be harmonious with nature, so the living room has steps that lead directly into the water. If you love this spot as much as others do, you can purchase a Lego version for yourself. The City of Arts and Sciences, Valencia. 
Spain is where you will find this exquisite building that is a tourist favorite. It's the largest scientific and cultural complex in Europe, and it was designed by Santiago Calatrava and Felix Candela. It cost 900 million euros to build and took the better part of 10 years to complete. Many of the locals felt it was a huge waste of public money as the budget was 300 million euros. The building has made its way into Doctor Who and Tomorrowland, and it is home to the biggest aquarium in Europe. 1. Neuschwanstein Castle, Bavaria this fairy tale castle was constructed during the 19th century and is located in Bavaria, Germany. It was built by King Ludwig II, who is often referred to as the fairy tale king because he loved plays, stories, and music. He used his own money to finance the castle, and he wanted it for his own personal refuge as he was a very private person. King Ludwig only spent 11 nights in this palace. After he died, the castle was open to the public. The castle receives around 1.3 million visitors every year. The woodwork in the bedroom took 14 carpenters four years to complete. Sleeping Beauty's castle in Disneyland drew inspiration from this iconic location.